Riviera with Hamilton Beach. Don't you just love Belgian waffles? Light and fluffy, dripping with butter and syrup, or topped with strawberries and whipped cream? Everyone enjoys eating homemade waffles, but no one likes cleaning up the mess left behind. We've got the perfect solution. The new Hamilton Beach Mess-Free Belgian Waffle Maker. It has three times the mess protection of ordinary waffle makers. First, the batter cup is designed to hold exactly the amount you need for a perfectly shaped waffle every time. Second, the deep grid design keeps the batter inside the nonstick grid. And third, the overflow channel keeps any excess batter from leaking onto the counter. The adjustable temperature dial allows you to control the browning so your waffle cooks exactly the way you want it. The power and ready lights let you know when your waffle is done. Esto Flipside Belgian Waffle Maker. To bake extra thick Belgian style waffles using a restaurant style rotating design, preheat until the red light goes out. Pour a cup of batter into the waffle grid and set the digital timer for four minutes. Close the cover and rotate 180 degrees to spread the batter evenly across the grids. Make delicious waffles from packaged mixes or from scratch using the included recipes for classic, whole grain, pecan and more. When the baking time is complete, open the cover and you're ready to enjoy a delicious waffle. Non-stick grids assure the waffle removes easily. The big 7-inch waffle divides into four easy-to-cut sections. The brushed stainless steel exterior provides both beauty and durability. And the non-stick grids simply wipe clean. Storage is easy too. Just rotate to the vertical position and flip the storage latch to lock upright for space-saving convenience. Fabulous waffles and a fabulous storage solution. The Flipside Belgian Waffle Maker from Presto. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers and this is the Cuisinart Belgian Waffle Maker. It's really fun to use because it actually rotates. So let me show you how that happens. You put the batter in. I'm just going to, you would put your batter in here. I'm going to do it in a little bit. And you just rotate it 180 degrees. And that's really important to make a really crisp exterior of your waffle, but still get a tender interior because it distributes the waffle batter really evenly around the plates. And it gives it a chance to really crisp up on the outside. So you'll notice it's a stainless steel exterior. It also has this removable tray, which is really great because if you happen to put too much batter in the, in the uh, waffle maker and you get some spills, this is removable. You can throw it right in the dishwasher or even just hand wash it right in the sink. So it's a thousand watts. It has um, a ready light here. So it'll tell you when the waffle maker is up to temperature. I preheated it so we didn't have to um, wait. And I just want to show you the dial is on the top. Um, so you have your power and you're ready on this side. And on the other side, this is the ready for when it's completely baked. The dial here is what you use to pick your um, shade control. I usually like to put it on about four. That comes like a really nice medium brown. So let's go ahead and make a beautiful Belgian waffle. The, like I mentioned, the plates are very deep. They're one inch deep. We're just going to um, season the plates just a little bit before we get cooking. This happened to be a little damp because I washed the, um, the brush, so it's crackling a little bit. So just, you know, mind that if you do that yourself. So I actually mixed up the batter in advance. Um, this is a ginger-based batter. Um, always put it right in the middle of the plate. Let me just, I'm going to scoop it out because this is a very, very thick um, Belgian waffle batter. So get that out. And if you want, you can help distribute it if you like. This happens to be yeast based, so it's a little more tacky. We're just going to close it, flip it, 
and we're going to wait till the light comes back on and it beats three times. And we're going to see how beautifully it cooked our Belgian waffle. So let's check on our waffle. There it is. It's nice and crispy and golden brown. It didn't overflow. It's not perfectly round, but that's okay. It's still going to taste delicious. So what we're going to do is put just a little bit of fruit on top and then add a little bit of extra creamy whipped dairy topping to make it really beautiful and fun to eat. So there you have it, the Cuisinart Belgian Waffle Maker. It's fun to use. Who wouldn't want to have one in their home? smart waffle. Who doesn't love waffles? It's got a couple of neat features. First of all, we've got a little locking mechanism. That means we can store the waffle maker on its side to save space in the kitchen. And then we've got a choice of various different types of waffles that will give us the right time and temperature depending on the recipe. This is a, um, a classic waffle that uh, is in our recipe book. You can get that off our website. And you can see the waffle tray itself is really deep so we get those nice thick waffles. Last of all, we've added this what we're calling a moat around the outside because when you cook waffle mix, it grows and it tends to spill over the side. So to save mess, it all gets captured in this little moat and gets cooked and it's a nice little crunchy bit for the kids to eat. So we'll just cook some waffles. This, uh, this little spoon is included in the, uh, in the pack, gives you the measurements for one or two um, waffles. I'll shut that. Now that's started as we've closed the lid and it's going to count us down. You can see there's a counter on the front. So what's happening inside is that waffle mixture is growing and you can see it's starting. There's a little bit of overspillage into this moat. So in other waffle makers that'll be spilling down the side. It's incredibly hard to clean. Just a couple of other features we've added to the waffle maker. We've got a little a bit more button and uh, so if they're not quite cooked to your desire you can press a little bit more and just gives you that little bit more time so it's done just right for you. So there's a beep to say they're ready. Let's take a look. Fantastic. And you can see how, how the moat has caught that overspill. So we can just flick that off nice and easily. And it's an amazing non-stick, so the waffles just pop out. And there you go. Beautiful classic waffles in uh, a few minutes. It's our smart waffle maker.